Hey guys, it's Brenda, and I know it's been a long time since I made my last YouTube video. I literally have no excuses, but I've been wanting to get back into the grind into making YouTube videos. Just because next week my summer classes finally end, and VidCon is also next week, so I'm so excited for that. And I wanted to do kind of a YouTube VidCon survival guide, just because this is going to be my third year going. Here are my passes from the past two years, obviously. You can see that one of them is signed by like Zoe and Tanya and Louise. So um, I really wanted to do that just because I know there are like a lot of newcomers going to VidCon and they might be like overwhelmed for what to bring. So I wanted to do a little survival guide and I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started. So one of the first things I recommend bringing is like a backpack or a purse. Like I have different styles right here. Like I have this purse right here. Obviously it doesn't have to be this big. It could be really small. Um, I have another backpack here, which is the backpack that I actually use for school. And um, VidCon actually provides you with one of these um, drawstring backpacks, which are really, come really in handy. And you can get people to sign in and everything. So definitely I recommend bringing a backpack with you. Another thing in my survival guide is to actually look at the agendas. Like VidCon has kindly provided an agenda on the internet already so you can check that but I don't know if they're gonna have them printed again but for the past years they've had them printed on like this or this kind so I definitely recommend looking over the schedule and um, planning what you want to do whether it's like the signings that you're already going to or if you want to go to panels or anything I definitely recommend checking these out I know this might seem like a little strange for some people but I recommend bringing like a journal of some kind it doesn't have to be like necessarily this big, it could be a little small one. But um, I recommend bringing a journal, especially if you're meeting YouTubers and they're doing signings so that you could actually have something to sign if like for the past I've had my badge signed, but if you want to you could just bring a journal or whatever. Another thing to go along with a journal is um, Sharpies, just because YouTubers are always needing Sharpies if you want them to sign anything, especially if you meet them outside of like the convention center. So I definitely do recommend bringing Sharpies of like especially different colored ones because if you have like the silver gold one you could sign something that's black and the black one obviously just for normal things. Something I definitely recommend bringing are these two things. This is actually um, a charger cable which actually retracts and this is an, an extra battery life so you could just connect these, to get these two things together and charge your phone and you won't have to be waiting in the charging station. So. I definitely do recommend these, especially because you're going to be taking a lot of selfies and you're going to be taking a lot of pictures, maybe some videos, so you definitely want to have an extra battery pack. Another thing that's pretty obvious is bring your wallet um, or just bring your like just cash or whatever because you're always going to need cash, especially if you want to buy merch or you want to buy food at the food trucks, whatever. Just make sure to bring your money. Another thing I recommend doing is if you have a phone with you um, and it requires Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is going to be very, very scarce at VidCon just because there are like 20,000 people trying to all use the same Wi-Fi. So um, buy one of those like portable Wi-Fi devices or just um, get some extra data on your phone because again, Wi-Fi is going to be very scarce and you're going to be wanting to post your selfies on Instagram and Snapchat. Another thing I recommend bringing is a water bottle. It doesn't have to be this size, it can be bigger or smaller, but I definitely recommend bringing one just because you want to stay hydrated, you're going to be standing in long lines, and you're going to be dancing around in concerts, and you're going to be doing all this stuff, so definitely stay hydrated. Please don't pass out. Take care of yourself. Do you. Another thing I recommend doing is definitely bringing really comfortable shoes just because, again, it's a three-day convention. You're going to be standing in long lines and doing all this stuff, so I definitely recommend bringing um, comfortable shoes. I know you look cute in those high heels and you want to look good for the YouTubers but definitely bring something really comfortable to wear just because it's definitely so much better and you're not gonna feel like death after every single day. Something I recommend doing is bringing like an essentials bag with you. Now these are just my essentials, not necessarily everyone's essentials, but here are just some things that I have in this bag. So one of the first things I have in this bag is deodorant and you definitely want to bring deodorant because you're just going to be hugging a lot of people and it's California, it's going to be 80 degrees or higher, so bring some deodorant with you. Another thing in my essentials bag is a rollerball perfume or you could bring a mist or whatever, but again you're going to be hugging a lot of people, you might meet up with some YouTubers that you love and you don't want to be smelling bad, so bring something. A really really huge essential for VidCon is bringing your own hand sanitizer just because there's a crap ton of people going at VidCon and 
The VidCon flu is real, so you don't want to get sick, especially because it's summer. You want to enjoy your summer, not being laid in bed all sick as a dog. So bring hand sanitizer. Another thing that I bring in my essentials bag is um, some pills, which this is Advil. And um, I put this in here just because I know two years going, there's a lot of screaming and again, it's hot. So you're probably going to get a headache and you don't want to be a pain during VidCon. So definitely bring some Advil or whatever you need that actually helps with headaches or migraines. Another thing that I personally like to bring are band-aids just because you never know when you're going to get a cut or if you get a splinter on the back of your ankle just because you're not wearing comfortable shoes. So I definitely recommend bringing band-aids. Another thing that I bring with me are blotting sheets just because you do not want to look oily and pictures and shiny and you're definitely meeting a lot of people so you don't want to look like you have grease on your face. So I definitely recommend bringing blotting sheets but again if you have dry skin you don't need it obviously but this is just one of my essentials. Another thing that I bring are hair ties and bobby pins just because again it's California, it's hot, you're going to want to put your hair back sometimes, especially if you're like a concert and you don't want people grabbing your hair, definitely recommend bringing some hair ties and bobby pins. My last thing in my little red bag are pads and tampons just because it is a convention full of a lot of girls and you never know when one of them is going to get their period or accidentally leak so somebody might need a pad or tampon and you could be their savior. Another last thing in my essentials is bring gum because you're going to be talking to a lot of people you do not want to have bad breath. One of the last things I definitely recommend bringing is bring your camera just because you do not want to be relying solely on your phone to take your pictures. Again, sometimes battery doesn't last so I definitely bring a definitely recommend bringing a fully charged camera with you and I also recommend labeling your camera just so people know it's yours in case it gets lost but you want to bring this just in case you want to take some videos or you want to take some awesome pictures or if you're a youtuber you want to be vlogging everything that's going on just bring your camera okay and last but not least have fun just because it's a three-day convention it's gonna be awesome this is my third year going I wouldn't be going again if I didn't love it so have some fun, enjoy yourself, meet new people, go to the concerts, enjoy We The Kings playing. They're freaking amazing. So have some fun, go to VidCon Prom, do everything that you possibly can, fit all the panels you possibly can. Just have some fun. It's an amazing, amazing experience. So that is it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed my little VidCon survival guide of what to bring. And um, I hope to see you guys next time. I hopefully will be vlogging VidCon, so look out for that video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!